Hangar Mystic. In, yeah, in the house. Shoot, that had Carson or Alfonso. <laughs> you might remember that show. <laughs> Shout out to that girl. I'm so sorry. She is a crackhead, but <laughs> that in, show was. Wow. Good. All right. That might be the <laughs> way we ended. In the house or Hangar Mystic. Yeah, you might remember that was a about That needs a dramatic retelling. What are movie disciples and good people of YouTube? I go by Brian, the movie Messiah. And as you see on your screen as well, is my sister, Brittany Yamacraw Hunter. And we're here to talk to you guys about Bel Air, the show that my sister has been clamor clamoring for me to check out. And here we are. She's really locked in on checking this out. And, don't know about the show you need to get with it because it's on the cock that's peacock all right Bel -Air. could have had this in my background See uh it's um <laughs> it's the reboot of freshman's of bel-air if you don't know you need to get it together before we really dive into it the first three episodes at least make sure you follow myself and my sister on social media and if you like what you're watching please hit that like share subscribe and the notification bell I literally just got finished watching the first few episodes, and it's very interesting. Um, it is. People have been, like, going nuts, uh, particularly with a uh, certain character on the show. If you Also, if you haven't watched this, um, it's super spoiler-heavy, all right? <laughs> so no. you Check it out before you watch. Right now, yeah, like, cut this off right now, and uh, come back after you watch the first three episodes, because probably gonna get in some type of spoiler territory yeah not too much but just in case you want to be like oh you, you said x y z yeah so and yeah i don't hear that in the comments down below if you have a comment on that anyway so people have been talking about a certain figure aka a certain cousin uh, <laughs> no, we're not talking about will smith his character because <laughs> uh the guy playing will smith his name is jabari banks which is Funny thing about it, uh, the Banks and the guy playing Will Smith, real not real life name is Banks. So it's wild that they found it. I guess kind of let, let's go into like a little character breakdown for everybody. We're just overall feelings. You you go ahead. What do you think about what you've seen so far for your characters? Of the show, yes. Like my brother said, I was definitely pressing that he should watch this and all of my family in France because I personally thought it was really a great show, a spinoff, whatever you want to call it. I have my own personal opinions of what I call it, but... It's a spinoff. Say it's a reimagining. Re remake? Yeah. Oh, remake. Or, yeah, in that in that sense, I guess so. I personally think it's great. Um, they still are holding true to, like, overall the, the gist of the characters. Some of them, whoever the characters are, they, they kind of have, like, a different role in a way. Um, I love Will who's playing him, Jabari Banks. I love his character. Like, uh, it has great dialogue. First of all, the music, as soon as it starts, it just, it's fire. Like, it's just a great playlist. So I'm like, I just want to download the music. You know that first um, song. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah. If it plays it back, I might. But you did, though, because you see my brother smiling. So he knew the song. I was just like, I was thinking of people I know. I was like, oh, yeah, they know this. And it was just hype. So it's just already pulling you in. I was like, oh, okay. Um... But yeah, it like has like a uh, it's like a different dynamic. It's it's up to date. How I see it, which is already called Bel Air, and the other one's obviously called Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I feel like they just brought a new twist. Like it's supposed to be a modernized version of what Fresh Prince of Bel Air really would be. And so I think a lot of people are either like for it or they're against it. And I'm totally for it. And I'm just like we really think about the show and just. Today's society, like, if we never had Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and this was our first time having it, this is what it would be. This is, like, how the characters would be. And then we'll get into all of that. And I just feel like this would be the setup. So I'm like, you know, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. But I'm digging it so far. All three episodes. Four for me. Because I'm quick. Like that, but. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I guess pretty much to reiterate a little bit of what you said, I don't know if it's say some modern retelling i mean uh, for me it's a reimagined uh, modern like what the, the guy did three years ago when he did the the short film and i mean what a way mm -hmm. for for 
I guess his career goes to another level for him just having an idea and to making that twist. I mean, a lot of people were probably kind of doing that, but you wouldn't expect it with this, uh, well, at least yeah. the Fresh Prince type of show, you know, a comedy show. Like, I had some ideas, but right before that, or I want to say, uh, mm-hmm. and then kind of like right after that, about um, certain shows, like, well, you know, what kind of wild twist this will happen. But yeah, I say it's a reimagining for me. Like, I mean, obviously it's modern because it's set in, in the modern day. So I say it, it's a reimagining because the other one was, uh, was a comedy. You know, it had some, you know, I guess dramatic things, but you kind of had to have like some drama for it to propel a plot for an episode or a series to go forward and things like that. Right. And, this one is uh, not. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this is just straight up. It's more like, impacted with drama. It's more dramatic. So, I mean, yeah. if, mm-hmm. if, I would say if you hadn't paid attention to or not watching All American, let's say this is All American meets the freshman of Bel Air <laughs> meets uh, the OC. No problem. I'm sorry. Almost, the OC. Uh, I guess. I guess. No, yeah, because I'm gonna say more money. No I, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't say mm-hmm. One Tree Hill. I'm like it might be a light One Tree Hill, but I'm gonna say more OC because you got, you got less characters dealing with more of the mother and the father, um, seeing more about what they do, and yeah. uh, you're dealing with a lot more money. The OC, I mean, the One Tree Hill, like there was uh, one family kind of had some money, or else kind of I, but yeah, you no, know, where yeah. out there where they rocking at in Bel Air, like they got some bread so yeah. I'm going to more OC-ish and like I said all American because it's black because all American is kind of like the black version of One Street Hill if people haven't watched it and I said that on my trailer reaction a long time ago when it came out I was like I'm going to check this out because it feels like show I've seen before anyway get off track so <laughs> the characters like I said um, we're dealing with you know, more of the family dynamic because that's how the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was so for me the characters, since this is a drama, it makes sense because kind of each episode kind of deals with like it's it's wild because they can take like you no, know, they can watch the old series, right? Watch the old shows and like how we make this dramatic, right? <laughs> it's like it's like let's turn this up to eleven on a scale, you know, on the notch one to ten, to eleven. So um, you got mm-hmm. Will like if you get to see the whole like his whole brawl, like you know. Mom got scared. Send me out to uh, Bel Air. Like that happened so quick, like, quickly. I was like, my goodness, this is crazy. Um, but you know, like, like you said, I, you said you liked him. I like him. Like he's charismatic, fun. Um, the boy can emote. Shout out to Jabari for letting it rain. Yes, he can. You know, boy's eyes was juicy. First episode and a half. Just Already juicy. I was like, wow. yeah. yeah, jealousy. I was just like. <laughs> Damn. I was like, y'all picked them. Y'all picked them right. You you gotta have if you're playing Will, you gotta you gotta be able to emote that emotion. You gotta be able to drop some tears. Will did it and still can. So yeah, shout out. Right. Well, I mean, when you go back and watch you no know, no bell, you no know, freshman's bell, you want especially I mean that that episode. Everybody knows. So everybody knows. Infamous, yeah. infamous, infamous. I can't say the word. Infamous. Hell, Will! All right, I'm back. <laughs> I, I'm assuming we're going to get that at some point. Hopefully not in this first season. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, not yet. Season, like, or should, like, like, don't spoil that. I'm like, we got to save that for later. So got to build that up. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm like, the kid the kid might have it. Okay. You know, same thing. Like, I expect to see him in some type of, you know, peacock movie netflix movie you know doing something else you know you know teaming up with something i don't know you'd be in something the yeah. shout out to, to him um the like the mom playing video i'm like i feel like i've seen her on a bunch of stuff or i haven't but her voice I have two. her face looks very familiar yeah that i'm in her real life i don't know but i love her voice like <laughs> it just like it it's it, like Obviously, the dialogue, I like the dialogue and the writing too, uh, was going on, but it's just her voice, I just, her voice, uh, it's compelling. Like, everybody has like, it just has a good ass voice. Like, pretty much, um, yeah. The dude playing uh, Uncle Phil, I think his name is Adrian Holmes, and shutting the moms, I think her mom, the mom's name is Cassidy Freeman. Um, dude playing Adrian, uh, playing Uncle Phil. I've seen him before because I used to watch Arrow, shout out to Arrow. He was um, on there for, for, you know, popping in, in and out, I believe. If I'm correct. I'm going. It's been a while. Um, I feel like he was like, if he wasn't a police chief, he was like, 
Yeah, I feel like he was commissioner or something like that. But he was in there. He, he, he reoccurred, right? He's from Canada. And shout out to dude playing mm-hmm. Jeffrey because um, he was on <laughs> as well, and he was playing like a bad guy in season four. So I'm like, they probably they probably know each other from either Arrow or just being out of Canada. So they probably like that's why they probably they have decent chemistry. And so yeah, I was gonna say their chemistry like was definitely on point. Um, and then the girl playing Hillary, shout out to her. Did not know that's a girl. From, uh, was it in the little jump rope movie with um? <laughs> Was she in jump? No. Yes, was she, yeah. But well, she was in that one with Tyler. What's his name? That's Tyler what, James. That's what I'm talking about. It wasn't Trump rope. You are definitely mixing or it they with the movie. But yeah, they were like singing and stuff. Because okay, they also had right, right. See, shout yeah. out to what's his I name? Oh. I've yeah. seen pieces of it, but I didn't care. No, and no, it's no. funny, it had everybody. I can't shout all of them out, but it had Chloe, Haley, freaking Tyler James. And why am I going blank with his name? You know his name with the rats. Robert Jackson, right? get together. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm yes. so sorry. Yeah, I so uh, shout out to her. I think her name yep, Coco Chanel. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, like she's doing her thing. And, and like I said, like they, they've taken like the, the character traits from the from the original series and like I said, made it more dramatic. Yeah. Uh, also, shout out to a little girl playing Ashley. I don't know. I've probably I've never seen her anything. She mm-hmm. has been something. I'm sorry. Maybe a commercial. She cute though. Shout you out. Yeah, and like um, so still Ashley. So she's really got nothing to do because she's still twelve. And I was like, we're a twelve year old really going through. Like, it's like they'll find a way at some point. But you know, right they right will. now you got to build up. You know, to who we get into, um, Carlton. Before we get into Carlton, though, shout out to, like Hillary <laughs> yeah, and her dynamic, like her. You know trying to like actually like get into, into catering because she likes cooking and she wants to build up her brand and because initially it feels like some hillary type stuff but same time like she seems like a real 3d character not as, as yeah bad. and she's already like- out of school. she's not like faking like she's in uh out of school she's not in school at all she's in a gap year or two-year gap year yeah. And she I like she has her head on her shoulder. Like you, we know Hillary to be the dumb blonde, and on this one she's not. But they were like, we're still gonna kind of hold true to some of the characteristics she had, which of course she lived in the she lived in the pool house, stuff like that. And like you said, she wasn't in school. But this one is still like she's she's like working towards something. Like later on, Hillary did that during the seasons. But off rip, they're like, okay, she has something. Like she know how to cook instead of you know getting fed. So it's like, wow, okay, yeah, you're actually yeah. working with something. Nice. Uh, so, to so the main character, um, who we all been for, <laughs> good old Carlton, aka our uncle. I say he kind of looks like our uncle. I don't know why. It's something about his head. He, looks, he says no, nah, but he's a short version of I don't know. It's something about like he's very like sadistic. He's very just I don't know something about him. I don't want to say that. So, office Sorry, uncle, but makes him <laughs> seem look like our uncle. You say, so you saying uncle looks sadistic. <laughs> No, it's something about him. I'm just not gonna say it because he just gonna set me up. But I think he kind of like uncle. not in a bad way. He just reminds me of our uncle. You see, as you see, somebody who fell under trial pressure. <laughs> like a lawyer. Oh, <laughs> first forty-eight. Well, I, I can't be on anything. <laughs> you answer questions on your own. You saved yourself, <laughs> ma'am. Booker, get her ass out of here. Lock her up. Don't don't ask me to testify. I'm not going to be good. Going to jail. She didn't uh, let you know. Anyway, yeah, so Carl, <laughs> every good show, well, like good shows, majority of the time, has a great villain. Like, why? Yeah. I think some people will watch Rancher Hill. Yes, I was one of the rare few black men or black guys at the time. And I was watching Rancher Hill. <laughs> I started rewatching yeah. going. Yeah. Put me during, on. Uh, during the lockdown. And. <clears throat> One of the things I liked was just the dope basketball scenes. I was like, oh, okay, this is still like some real stuff because, you know, back in the day, you watch the basketball stuff and they'd be shooting on a, on a seven foot goal and be doing just wild mm-hmm. fake dunks or they'd be <laughs> inside a gym and the gym would be the size of somebody's basement. I'm like, this ain't no real gym. You start, you know, you start noticing stuff, you start getting over it. Anyway, so a bunch of y'all like that because they're actually playing a real gym. And one of the leads could actually like hoop hoop. Um, my guy James Lafferty, aka, aka Nathan, he could actually hoop, mm. like he could ball, he could dunk, he could do all that stuff. Um, Chad Michael Murray, uh, he learned, he was all right, <laughs> but um, he had a he had a stun, a stun dealt with that, you know, shooting Jays for him anyway for some 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 stuff. But that's all I like I like that. But the main thing they had a great villain, aka the guy playing their dad, Dan. 
Paul Johansson. He was a great villain and it's messed up with a setting up Carlson <laughs> to be the victim, I mean, to be the villain. And everybody hates Carlson. So, so I already, I already feel, you know, you just, Brittany, why do you hate Carlton's character so much? Uh, he's one of those you hate, you hate that you love him. And that's where I am. I really hate him, but I love his character. I love how they built his character. We all know that kid. Carlton in the original was a butt. He was, obviously. But in this one, you are guaranteed you're going to have a protagonist and you're going to have an antagonist. And he is definitely the villain. This one, I don't know. Like, he off-rip is already, like, you know, he holds some true to the original cartoon. Like, he's judgmental. You know, he's in his own zone. He's about the money and stuff like this one. But this this cartoon is even 10 times more, like, arrogant. He doesn't even want any affiliation with, with Will. He's just, like trash like what are you doing here i don't trust you and shoot on top of it i mean a spoiler lord you know he's snorting you know rose in (laughs) in his closet i'm like whoa okay we took it there we went from speed to snorting but hey okay it's 2022 i guess i don't know it's just like he just is he sees life differently obviously he's very close-minded and carton initially was like that too in the original one but this one is just like it is what it is and i'm not gonna change who i am or how or how I feel about you. So I'm like, dang, okay. You're ruthless. That's why I hate Carlton. I hate, but I love you, Carlton. Both. I ain't tripping like everybody else. I think he's fantastic. He is acting is he's a, he's a wild boy. Shout out to to him, the guy playing Carlton. I'm going blank on his name right now. Um, I think he, I don't want to mispronounce it. I feel like it's like it starts with an O. Anyway, um yeah, the guy is bringing it. I, said, I, I guess you can call him a villain, but I mean, looking from his point of view, he's you know, he got his cousin, you know, he's coming in, taking over his territory. You know, one episode, he, he has a lacrosse game, same time as Will out there hooping. And <laughs> I was watching, I was like, man, they're going to get him. Like, yeah, we're going to leave. And then they were looking at the time, like, oh, we got five uh-huh. It was, was a good game. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, it, it, was, it was like, it seemed like here's how they misplayed it. Like, if this is, you know, super real life. They should have went in there. They should have asked like, will you start? I'm like, no, nah, all right, we're going to come in, you know, second half, some shit like that. Should have went to Cardinal game first half, and they came to Will's game second half, because you've seen lacrosse, you've seen plenty of cross matches. That, you know the outcome. Either they're going to win, they're going to lose, or, but this first time you actually going to see Will play. So you can't, you're going to split in first half or second half, or you could have had, you could have learned from all the other, let's say, uh, teams or you know families that have like two sons playing at the same time or something like that like <laughs> my point yeah or, or like, i agree let's say like steph curry and, and his brother seth curry they both play in the nba sometimes probably have games the same day right or you know the same i don't know yeah. sometimes same city but or the playing or let's say the parents are there at the same time right mom might wear a steph jersey possibly wearing the seth jersey or she might have a jersey on it's half on you know seth in front steph on the back anyway uh, sometimes, like, Peyton Manning and his brother Eli playing the same day. So, Pops would be at Peyton's game. Moms would be at Eli's game. So, what they could have done was Uncle Phil could have been at the uh, right off there. game in the first half. Um, Vivian could have been at Phil, uh, Will's game in the first half. And they switch at halftime or whatever. Or whenever halftime was, like, oh, it's halftime. Okay, I need to go over there. All right, I'm going to leave you over to, yes. to the sport cars. Could have did that. But, all right, so. I, I mean, was, they could have did it, yeah. In a, in a utopian universe, yeah, absolutely. My yeah, brother's yeah. going to make a great parent later on in the future. But, obviously, they didn't have Will there before. And let's be honest. Well, you know, anybody looking at the little cross game, nobody was there. So any parent that probably had more than one kid, they was all messing up. They all was like, we're going to beat this basketball game. It's great. Like, and he's looking like, what the heck? Like, where is everybody? It's like, ain't nobody here. We have this basketball game. It's live. And, <laughs> you know, I, I, I feel bad for you, Carlton, but we're not here. Right, I'm like, what you like, what game stands for? I'm like, you know, like on the damn games right now. Hurry, it was like, now on. I'm mad. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's over. So no, you know, that would have been nice, but uh, but yes, that's a uh, Carlton would be even more pissed. Um, because I mean, what what second episode was it? First episode, uh, it, it might, that might have been that was the first second. episode. Carlton got got no. the got the beats. Yeah, it was the first episode. You guys asked what by, um, by by Will like first episode like Will put out the put out the tool. 
get ready to like smoke somebody. Oh, yeah, he, was- he came to Bel Air and whooped his cousin's ass. And, sm- and smacked uh, the white boy. Was the white boy named Connor or something like that? Yes. Yes. Oh, like, yeah, he did that. The ultimate yeah. white name, but I guess. Yeah, it's like, it's like Will could have died. And somebody shared a similar with him. I'm not getting, not playing around. Yeah, you the pool. Um, Carlson being, I, Will didn't, have, didn't know that Lisa, and shout out to, they brought Lisa in as brought her early. You know, super early. Um, brought her in and she's out there, you know, flirting with his co- cousin. She tried to stop it, but you know, sometimes she can help attraction. And Carlton is a sociopath, which shout out to him. Sometimes you know you gotta you gotta get it by any means. Like he could yeah. be in the reboot of American Psycho, where Carlton is getting knocked out. <laughs> yeah, he's playing. Uh, yeah, so you know Carlton tried to kill his cousin. So I mean, you deserve to get your ass with him, just like I'm giving you said. Kill like, his cousin. I mean, I mean, he didn't, know, he but, didn't know how to swim, but he sure wasn't going in there to help. So I don't know. Question of the day, though, I'm just saying, we're all familiar with Lisa. Who was wrong in that situation? Was it Lisa? Was it Will? Was it Carlton? Or was it all of them? Just one thing, just one thing. Uh, you know, they weren't feeling each other, and Lisa knew who her man used to be. I'm just saying. I ain't putting all the blame on her, but. Lisa she knew, holds. She, she, she okay. knew she was looking at Will, and they slow dancing. Uh, you know, stay away from it. Will was already feeling some type of way about Carlton anyway, so he was like, yeah, yeah. everybody else got to lose. <laughs> I like her. I'm going over here. Only friend I got. I'm like, okay. Yeah, you left me alone anyway. I bet. I'm going to figure I'm going to talk to somebody anyway. <laughs> talk to her. Talk to her earlier. So, you know, yeah, Carlton's crazy. Everybody's going crazy over Carlton. Yeah. I, I like the build enough for him. Like, either he'll, you know, continue to be the villain or he'll, you know. I feel slowly but surely. Like, I mean, that's how it was in the other one, but this one, like you said, is just times 10. Like, it was kind of like, am hey, not liking you, and then slowly but surely, what? Even by season one, like, we're cool. Then we became best friends, we're brothers. This one, I feel like it's eventually going to happen like that, but kind of just the hate. and Like, it was going to be up and down. They like, like, they yeah, can, they can I feel it, yeah. They're going to get there, and they'd be like, oh, dude, gonna, you kiss Lisa. Uh, yeah, it's going to happen, and then it's going to get back up and down. Um, it's a while that they had Lisa as the middle, you know, as the as a piece that, that could piss them off, but it, it's smart mm-hmm. that like they've seen this dynamic in plenty of shows. Um, All American had it with you know, what's his face, uh, Spencer and uh, um, Olivia. No, not Olivia, not a sister. Uh, oh, he was going out with a girl first. No, actually, going out with the white boy was going out with uh. Sorry, I'm going to blame on names right now. <laughs> Usually, I'm great with names. But I say the white. Uh-huh. You know, I, uh, you know, I feel like it might have been Olivia. She was kind of in the middle for the longest. Or oh, you talking about the other girl? Yes. The, okay, the best friend. I forgot her name, but yeah, yes. Charlie, pretty girl. Yeah. Going out with her, and you know, even though he wasn't like the main character, but it was at, at odds a little bit. Um, this is true. And then you know, like I say, once you heal. Uh, Came and you know he started trying to holler at Peyton. Nathan was like, "What the hell, man? It's my city. I got money. You know, you broke. You ain't shit." Like that's how I, like, that's how I'm like, it has, I'm like it has my has little dynamics of, of everything, a little bits of pieces. As y'all can see, my brother's clearly a big friend of One Trio. I should like have a tally every time he likes <laughs> mentions One Trio. I'm telling you, that was his show. So if you hear any <laughs> any reference to One Trio. No uh, tell the ladies of the podcast the drama queens I would like to be on the podcast and like who's a random black dude <laughs> who are you well I'm I'm an actor I just haven't been on shit you seen you know, I'm, I'm out there with some YouTube videos uh YouTube yeah, shows. anyway uh yes but it sprinkles of you know you know the the love triangle you know so they'll grow closer but I'm really curious about what's gonna happen like other episodes that we've seen before like the infamous like later on season one when carlton goes to the hood with jazz and goes out of compton and then he starts you know helping bros be like financially uh fiscally responsible or carlton on compton and he out there like you know start whooping niggas ass and like oh. you know, what Car- what carlton like leave season one to get pissed off so pissed off you move out to compton or whatever wait a minute oh. like, oh, you know it'll be really like, dramatic you know, Yes, yeah, I mean, I love to see how it's going yeah. to go, how it's going to play out, because it's it's like 
definitely altered. It's not the same. Even yeah, well, Jazz. Like, well, Carlton Grove, you know, started coming to blood and he was start to Carlton, not Carlton anymore. He started going, I'm Boston, Buzz. You know what I'm saying? You want to say Carlton no more. He come back. First of all, he's going to have to go, uh, get an intervention and go to rehab first because Sean need help. He got issues with his nose and, uh, yeah, he's really he has anxiety. heavily dependent on, oh, on Xanax, quote unquote. Uh, I was like, you what is a minute? You feel, I, I, I thought mean, in the third really episode, weird. I thought the third episode, when he came in there, I thought he was going there on the court and steal the ball, nigga, and like shoot that bitch. And like kind of, you know, <laughs> when he was on the team, he threw the ball. I thought he was going to do that because he was so geeked up and so pissed off. I thought he was oh, gonna yeah, I thought he was too. I thought he was going to, yeah, stop the game. I was like, oh. I was, I was like, oh, like, oh no, we're just going to uh, be extra uh, dramatic. Uh, like, E2 Brutus, I'm just going to stare at y'all. I was like, okay. We just giving uh, daggers out with yeah, the other episodes, you know, when Carlton um gets shot. He definitely gonna get shot at some point. Uh the show keeps going. It's oh hard. yeah, he definitely yeah. gonna get shot. It's Somebody should do that one time. You know, just other like wild stuff that happened. Um, uh, this Hillary gonna meet this Tevin Cam- Campbell type character. I'm like, who's who's somebody is it Jacques? I'm like, who's young enough that can go in there and kiss <laughs> um Ashley's character? See, that's why know. you gotta see season four, uh episode four, because this is spo- spoiler alert already. I'm telling you, they're like changing. Everybody needs to watch season four, episode four, because I'm just gonna throw it out there. Some people are gonna get mad with the simple fact of Ashley's role, a character uh, she has, because I'm just guessing and assuming. Okay, it's not it's clear. It's gonna be some little girl. Ashley likes girls, so, so I can see that. I, I can already see you. I mean, in twenty twenty two. Yes. Or she likes yeah, fan girl. Or, anyway, uh, Uncle Phil might is, come out. Is, is an alpha. Ain't no way in hell, Rihanna. Rihanna ain't doing shit with selling makeup. Yeah, baby. And selling drugs. Yeah, baby. Anyway, Uncle Phil's an alpha. Shout out to, to that fraternity. Shout, Shout out to, to my Phil. Brother and my father. They're both them. Um what would what would, would Will Smith pledge when you went to college? What would Will Smith be? Is what since you're in a sorority and you know more about this, <laughs> what would he be? Hey ladies, <laughs> see we swords. Uh that's a good question. Just seeing how it's building up, if I don't even know know what grade they're in. Honestly, I think he might do do like Alpha. And then, because he seemed like he was more intrigued with everything when he was there. Like, oh, wow. Y'all more cry. And as we see, Carson was just being a sour pickle. Just like, "Mm, I'm not here for this. I'm here to do other stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I honestly feel like if they still have some type of like friction in whatever their relationship is, I feel like Will's going to seek out to be an alpha and you know his uncle's gonna be so proud and just like oh my gosh I always wanted you know a son or blah 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 you know something to hit a nerve for Carlton and he's gonna like relapse or something I'm just being extra because that's what shows are now he's gonna be like ah I want to kill myself because my daddy loves the fact that Will wants to be in this frat and that's what I feel it's gonna be if it get if it gets to that but like we said my brother and I always had conversation about shows that that in between college years they never make it there they always skip to them being grown so it, you see how this plays it out rarely works it's one year old. can work just doesn't work all the time we always had this mm-hmm. conversation uh but yeah like I, I said I don't even know what grade they're in I'm assuming like 10th it, grade 11th grade yeah so I'm gonna say 10th grade yeah something like that so we can push uh it. I think uh I think we will be um, one of them pretty boys. Mm-hmm. Really? We can came. I mean, he could. They didn't show I mean, any of that. That's but, why. Yeah. Uh, y'all are trying to look good. I was trying to holler at the ladies. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I can definitely, I, I can see it, but I, I can also see an alpha. Uh, yeah, we're just thinking about some ancillary stuff. We're just thinking about the, the, the other weird stuff. Um, well, Aunt Vivian have that episode where she goes back. I'm gonna start discovering dance, and she she busts it open one time, starts working. You know, that I'm just, was like, does Philly have some dance moves? I don't know. I feel like I was cold up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody know that. Like, like she, that, she was... that episode, you no, know, she go out there and yeah, uh, uh. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Uncle Phil right. and uh, Aunt Vivian get a divorce, and will he marry some white skin lady? That's what I'm and saying. Vivian as well. Like that's how a lot of people aren't it. feeling that, but I just feel that's gonna happen in Bel Air. Remember, it's not first Prince of Bel Air, Bel Air. I'm just throwing that out there, you know, a prediction or whatever. I feel he had something with somebody else on the show. They're not even the main person, but I feel like he had something with somebody. And I don't know, it's gonna come out later on. You know, he got the whatever he's trying to 
the election and stuff like that. I'm trying to be funny. You took it down that route. I mean, I can see that happening. I was trying to be funny. I said, well, a divorce isn't isn't funny. Like, yeah, sure. I was trying to be funny thinking about having another light skin. So it's dramatic. So sure. Your funny is going to turn into something extremely dramatic. But yeah, let's go with that. Um, no, we're not having white people. Speaking of the extra dramatics, you know, we got this dude, my man, straight out of Philly. I don't know where he's from. Like, uh, but if he's not, like, he's a great actor that's getting ready, you know, it's trying to kill Will. Shout out Trey. Shout out. They had the dude, Trey, uh, Will Smith's best friend, Trey, aka played by Don Trey. In the first season. So I'm, I wonder if, you know, Trey's going to fly out to Bel Air and have to go back to, you know, back to Philly. Uh, and Who was Trey? Time, I don't know. Uh, Trey was shot. Don Cheeto, wasn't he? Yes, I just said that. Too. I'm sorry, you said it so fast. Did y'all hear it? Exactly. Thanks. Okay, just seeing if you know. It was a test. Are you a anyway, real? Yes, I did say that. I said, shout out sure. to the guy playing Trey, played by Don Cheeto originally. Um, mm-hmm. And then I said, I'm like, we fly out there like an episode and we fly back. But this time you actually get murdered when you go back to Philly because this time you got yeah, shot. Yeah. That's why I said, Anyway, um, okay, that's a horrible. I thought we was being a little lighthearted, but sure, hopefully not. We not gonna claim Trey getting shot up. No. Good times. Nobody really died in in the original one, so yeah, it was the rematch. It's the drama, so yeah, it's drama. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just Prison. like, dang. Um, we have Uncle much. Phil, you know, help you know Will have a pool game. Go to you know play his pool because obviously, obviously we see him and we see Phil and Jeffrey playing pool and. Feel about that action, so they put that in the episode. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's true. Know, or so, you know, the woke, which I feel like that could still play in, in today's society and everything. You know, back then, he, you know, Will was like, "You ain't woke, Uncle Phil." He was like, "This is what I did in my time." So it's like, dang, are you going to, you know, let him know that even though you about the money, you and Bel Air, that you you came from this? Because I don't know, I don't know if they talked about that yet. Where he really, you know, came from? We got a little of Uncle Phil's history that he was an alpha, still is an alpha, but. You know what else is you know Uncle Phil? They're like slowly but sure, like unlearning the stuff. I know with like Aunt Viv and stuff like that. So I'm curious to see that. That's interesting. To see what they about. I know y'all not just about Bel Air anymore. And shout out to the melanin. Like that's one thing that's different. You know, before we had shoot majority of them were like light skin. You know, I'm light skin, so I love us. But Daddy gonna come eventually. I just feel it. Got to bring the Daddy. I just want to know who's going to play his daddy. Going to have somebody that's known? We're just going to bring some random guy, but maybe some uh, random guy. Do you know any like, people before? I don't know. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I knew Hillary. Yeah. And the mom, I knew her from somewhere. I just don't know where. I seen Hillary on stuff. I watched yeah. Coco Chanel. Well, no, Coco- I think seen her. Her name's Coco Jones, Negro. Coco Jones. Dang, I can call her Chanel. Sorry, girl. Making shit up. <laughs> exactly. So I know you ain't seen her from anywhere because you don't don't know her. Well, dad. she can hey. sing too, so I've actually heard. Well, I've seen her. Um, uh, seen her on Instagram and stuff. She, you know, was doing. I said and something, not on social media. <laughs> okay. God blow. I That's did, cool. but I'm drawing a blank right now. See, he's putting me on the they're, spot. They're trying to help. Oh, co, new, new I see you, girl. Faces, new fresh black faces to the screen. I mean, yeah, that's fine too. I see. I seen you though, Coco. I'm putting some gray hair in my head, and I would be Will Smith's pops. Wait a minute, first of all, <laughs> hey son, <laughs> he's my dad. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know him. Get I off. Gotta, gotta, you know, I gave him my truck. You know, I got to go. You know, so, <laughs> he uh, will forever I'm be my cast. Um, I'll, I'll be Ben Green. Is ben Green played him. I believe so. Yeah, I got to. Yeah. You know, oh, cool, cool. Let me go get. No, you will be oh, we horrible. Yeah, good, good time at the fair, you know. Uh, it's good seeing you, Will. <laughs> yeah. You too, you too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Just nostalgic, like I, I get it. I get why some people are upset, but I'm like, you got to be open to to change, and I will com- uh, com- commend them on that. Can't have the same thing. It's no point of of doing it if you got the same thing. So you, you got to twist it up. I feel if it was a comedy. It just it just would be too. It make no sense. It would make no sense. Make no sense. You can't what, talk. what are you rating the the first episode so far? You can do one out of ten, or you can do you know my thing, whatever you want to do. I don't care right now. I mean, you know how my brother just obviously yeah, you know, I a long time. Yeah, I mean ten out of ten, and then we give the comment like my brother said, "Get your popcorn ready," because I feel like it's almost like a cinema, like it's fully impact. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that would be sensational, man. That don't make any sense. Get your popcorn ready is lower. You said you said ten out of ten, right? Yeah. That's not get your popcorn ready. No, step below. What's the other? Sounds like it's like an eight and a half, eight out of ten. That's what get your popcorn ready is. Yeah. I don't know if I'm buying popcorn. I obviously want to see something great. I'm not gonna buy no popcorn. Uh, Sensational is just is just one word. Sensational, like to the point. Sensational. Upper echelon. Thank it's sensational it. to me. Sensational. Yeah. Oh, it kept oh, me intrigued. I was all for it. I liked every character so far, even if I hated them. I liked them. That's my sister's rating. I'm not giving her a rating right now. Or probably, Why? Maybe not ever. Because uh, you've seen I might at want, least three episodes. I might want to be on the show. But you've already talked about it and stated Talk your opinion, it. so you might as well. Yeah, you know, yeah right. so they can they can still. It ain't about me. Extract from, from extract from anyway. Me. What other shows could could they do a retelling of? Could you see a dramatic retelling of Jamie Foxx? Could I star in it? No, I can't play the piano nor sing. So that's a no. I have to take myself off the board already. Damn it! Why uh-huh. not? Uh, Tree uh, Hill, hmm, because he keeps mentioning that. There's no point. It's called All American Negro. <laughs> I guess, but that's about football. We can call it something else. Okay. All the people. Still the same shit. <laughs> what are the shows that came out back in the day? Mm. Oh, dramatic telling family well, matters. Think about it. Call it. Winslow. Am I uh, really? Am I really this? This you know thing about myself a little Moesha. bit? No, can't bring it back. That, I can't do shit on that show. I don't want to be <laughs> Frank. Okay, so you no. get a box cut like that. And they can bring <laughs> who I'm thinking of the dude to I read from <laughs> sister sister because now he got like hair and stuff. He definitely could do Frank. Uh Moesha, whoever she is, you could definitely be one of her flings because <laughs> not calling her that, but she showed went out with Don't a lot of people. About you showing a few up to date cue. I am no, an no. adult. I can't play no fucking teenager anymore. That what is you mean? the people on the show were grown. <laughs> Those people weren't teenagers. Besides most 16 or 17 when she's on that show. What are you talking about? I know. Oh, that dude Q right now. Q Hakeem, come on. They were so grown. I saw I saw the chin here. Like they were all the same age. I'm saying I'm not I'm too old to be doing this. I can't play a teenager. That is over. Oh well you okay. Either you mouse or you daddy. Guess you're gonna be the daddy or the uncle. I'm not being neither one. Yeah, I play Bring Max character, sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was good. RIP to the legend, the hanger Mr. Cooper. Can make that more dramatic. <laughs> there we go. That's the show. Hang with Mr. In, yeah, in the house. Shoot, that had Carson or Alfonso. <laughs> Anybody remember that show? <laughs> Shout out to that girl. I'm so sorry. She is a crackhead, but <laughs> that in, show was. Wow. Good. All right. That might be the <laughs> way we ended. In the house or hang with Mr. Yes. Oh, that, was remember? that was a about, That needs a dramatic retelling. And That's a good one. You would then who has seen that in so long? It was another one tipping my tongue. That was oh, I ain't thinking about hanging with Cooper. I pull that out, you know what I'm saying? Be Mark Curry, you know, Coach <laughs> Cooper, whatever. Coach oh, Cooper. Coach Hunter. Yeah. Down but that show was so you said Thea. Yeah, you remember that show? <laughs> yeah. Like, I was watching that on YouTube. Anybody, first of all, you got to be this age to know this. Most of y'all are probably going to be like, what? And if you do, then you're a real one. <laughs> that show was so <laughs> Yeah. Old is dirt. Why the older brother remind me of you though? Not how he talked though. His voice was really kind of annoying. Malcolm and Eddie, let's bring that back. Extra dramatic. <laughs> that was good. That show is so old. We oh. have some ninety shows. Jeez. I got the perfect moment before we get out of here. And if you're enjoying what you're watching, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell. My sister is Brittany. I go by Brian Luke Messiah. If you like what you're watching, cool. If you didn't, stop tripping, get down with the cock. Peacock, Bel Air. What? Homeboys in outer space, baby. I'm back. Yeah, let's do it. Base fire, let's ride.